Okay, the future of Hyperloop technology is zooming into view. Virgin Hyperloop One just got the green light to build the world's first Hyperloop system in India, and it's teaming up with Saudi Arabia as well to create the first ever long range test track. Now, the company is developing ultra high speed projects all over the world, including the UAE, Spain, and the United States. This week, it's taking its XP1 vehicle on the road in America, stopping over in Ohio, Texas, and Missouri. Jay Walder is the CEO of Virgin Hyperloop One. He joins me now from Los Angeles. I mean, look, this is exciting news. Uh, we are all excited to try and do perhaps what could be an eight or 10 hour drive in an hour, but we need a primer again. Why is this so exciting and is the potential real? Well, well it, it is that it is that exciting. And, and look, let's let's imagine this, and, and this is really what the, what the deal is about. Um, we're talking about traveling through a, a depressurized tube at up to 700 miles an hour. Uh, we're going to travel in a vehicle we call it a pod that floats uh, literally on air, uh, magnetic levitation, and so we have the ability to do something that is super smooth, super fast, and super convenient. And now we're taking trips that are, that are three, four, five hours and turning them into a matter of minutes. So the specific uh, project in India that, that we brought to, to the government in India uh, was to build a hyperloop between Mumbai and Pune. Uh, these are two major, major cities that are there. The transportation between the two cities is, uh, frankly, incredibly difficult uh, right now. Um, and it would take a trip that is about four hours and it would turn it into a trip that's under 30 minutes. And, and we love the fact that the government's running with this, that, that they see this as an, an opportunity to be able to leapfrog, to be able to, to jump to the, to the forefront in this and, and explicitly is saying that they want to build the first Hyperloop anywhere in the world. I, I, that's great. And Jay, what's the timetable for this? And you know, what you're talking about is hyperspeed travel and essentially something that's like a vacuum tube. Safety is clearly an issue. What challenges remain there? Well, you know, we've already built a, a test facility in the desert in Nevada. So we have a we have a 500 uh, uh, meter test facility in the Nevada desert. We've run over 400 tests on that. Um, and and so the this is no longer at stage one. This is stage at which we're ready to go to, to shovels in the ground. Um, the project in India would have a first phase. It would build a, a 12 kilometer uh, route and um, we're ready to go with it. And I think it would be very, very exciting. And during that phase, uh, we expect to receive the full safety certification uh, from the government to be able to move forward with the rest of the route. Okay, and I understand you, but how long before people are actually doing this in the route that you envision in India, let's say? Are we talking three years, five years, seven years? Well, we'll be shovels in the ground next year, um, mm -hmm. and I think that we can have certification a few years after that. Uh, you'll be talking about Hyperloop before the end of the next decade. You'll be riding on Hyperloop before the end of the next decade. Um, and this will, will completely change the way that you look at the, uh, the area around Mumbai and Pune. I'm going to hold you to that, Jay, because many of okay. us are fed up with travel as we know it and do want other options. And you're a guy, your background, you're usually rooted in real life, right? We're talking buses, trains, roads. roads. I mean, do you really believe in terms of cost and application that this can transform travel for many, many people? I, I do. And, and, you know, your point, uh, personally for me, I joined the company about eight months ago as, as the CEO. And if you ask me uh, what turned me, what made me think that, that this was, was doable, it was the visit to DevLoop. You showed the pictures a moment ago about that test facility that's out there. One of the things that I love about what we're doing right now is we don't have a way to bring everybody in America to our, to our test facility in Nevada, but we're now bringing uh, our XP1, the pod that actually has, has moved around uh, in DevLoop, we're bringing it on the road, road show for us. So it will we'll be in, in uh, we'll be in Ohio, in Texas, in Missouri. Mm -hmm. we, we hope to go to other places as well. We want to give people a sense of, of how real this is right now. Uh, we're really measuring things in years, not decades. And, and yes, and I, and I appreciate you saying right. that, I can't help but think about this in the terms of real people riding this and what this actually means. That's what my career has been about. That's what I believe we're going to be doing here. 
And I think we're, we're at that turning point where we've moved mm -hmm. from thinking about this just as technology to being able to think about it as a real transportation system. Right. Jay, I certainly hope you're right. We'll continue to watch the project. Really appreciate it.